Are you trying to comply with data privacy law in using Google Tag Manager on WordPress? Then I have the plugin for you. It's called Cookie Dash, and it's a tortoise and hare software created plugin uh, that was developed out of need to comply with data privacy law for tortoise and hare software site and our client sites. Um, so what the plugin does is it basically you know assumes that you're going to load your tracking scripts and other kind of like personalization cookies that would be um, you know subject to data privacy law through Google Tag Manager which is a best practice and uh, be using that on WordPress and it will allow the Google Tag Manager container to be uh, blocked or loaded in uh, various scenarios depending on um, what law you need to comply with and what the user's cookie consent uh, selection is. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of the plugin real quick. I'm going to pop over here to the screen capture and um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you the plugin. Let me just go ahead and uh, delete it real fast and then we can install it from scratch. Alright, so I'm here on the plugins page and I'm going to click add new. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to search cookie dash. And there it is, boom, cookie dash in the approved plugin repository. So I'm going to hit install. And I'm going to hit activate. So boom, that it it's now activated, but you can get a see that there's a notification that it hasn't been fully configured in your dashboard. So we're going to come over here to the plugin settings page, um, and a couple settings to configure. Pretty minimal here. The first is the allowed domains. So you know one you know issue that I've seen. Uh, and working with several sites on WordPress is you don't want your uh, tracking stuff to be loaded when you're on your staging site or a uh, you know local development environment and capturing data within those so um, I put in an allowed domain setting here so you know this uh, the cookies and the Google Tag Manager container is only allowed to be loaded on the allowed domains list so I have the allowed domain list here of tortoiseandhairsoftware.com so I'm going to enter that um, you know if you want to add your staging site or a local development site it's just a matter of adding that to the allowed domains list which is comma separated um, then I'm gonna enter my Google Tag Manager ID um, you can get that from your Google Tag Manager container and then I'm gonna make my privacy consent option so the opt-out option is means that the container is going to be loaded by default and the user has to opt out to block the, the, the load of the container and this is a setting that will help you comply with like CCPA in the United States um, the United States is a little bit more kind of liberal in that like you can track people by default but if they opt out then you need to block the you know cookie collection um, in Europe it's a little bit more restrictive in that like you can't track them by default and they have to opt in explicitly to be tracked so that opt-in setting here is what you would use if you were um, needing to comply with the GDPR or an opt-in based law um, so since we're in the United States here I'm going to do the opt-out setting um, and you know there's some information here on the support page and on the plugin page about that um, and then I'm going to come over here to the front end um, and I'm going to go ahead and clear my cookies because I've already kind of done this uh, once so you can see down here at the bottom that there was a little uh, banner added on accept versus decline um, so when the plugins enabled and configured correctly this will show down here um, you can style this to be uh, you know appropriate to your website but by default it's gonna use black with light gray and then whatever your sites kind of pro accent color is um, for your theme um, but you can see over here on our Google Tag Assistant that you know all these um, personalization tags and stuff are loaded through the Google Tag Manager container by default 
but when I click decline here, it's gonna say cookies disabled, press OK to reload the page, which uh, I will do. And when the page reloads, I come up over here to Google Tag Assistant, and now all of those tracking tags are not being loaded. Um, I'm going to come back here to the back end and kind of just show you the, the GDPR um, based consent. Um, so I'm going to sw swap it over here to opt in, save, and then I'm going to come back out here to the front end and I'm going to reset my cookies so the thing will show again and refresh. So, okay, so the plugin's enabled, but we're using the opt-in setting. And you can see here in the Google Tag Assistant that none of the tags are being uh, loaded by default. Um, so this would be like a GDPR type scenario. And then if I hit accept, personalization cookies are enabled, press OK to reload the page. And when it reloads, we can see that now the uh, tags are being loaded. Um, so. Boom, there you go. Uh, so plugin's pretty uh, simple to use. Um, you can get your cookie consent going in a dash, and as long as you're loading your kind of personalization cookies through Google Tag Manager, such as your remarketing tags, conversion tracking, Google Analytics, etc., then you will be cookie compliant in a dash. So give the plugin a try. It's uh, called Cookie Dash on the um, WordPress. And I've just rebranded it, so I'm going to come to the plugin page here. But it's um, Cookie Dash here on WordPress.org, so you can download it. Um, and I will put a link down in the video description below, and you can check it out. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software. Until next time.